G'day, Lockie here. So welcome back to taking a look at Istio. So kind of, I wanted to put together a whole bunch of very short videos on kicking the tires with Istio. So today we're looking at request routing. And of all the videos I've done, installation and integration and ingress and egress so far, I think this is starting to get to the really interesting bit. So you can see some really cool, powerful features in the Istio platform. Um, so we're gonna take a look at request routing. So that's actually, having some policy or some configuration over where you want to shoot requests to different microservices in your um, your application stack. So bear with me today, I'm going to go through, so this assumes this demo that you've already deployed the book info sample app, so you can go and click on there. And as always, you can follow along, the documentation is spot on, congrats to the Istio folks uh, because it's a great job. Um, anyway, what we're going to do with the book info app, let me just pop over here, is it actually deploys um, three versions of the reviews application. And what we're gonna do is use some route requesting to actually um, hit different versions of that review app um, in policy. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down using Istio CTL, we're gonna create a route rule all the V1. So let me go and create that and then we can dig into that. Okay, so we've created all these rules. What I can do now is do a get route rules using Istio CTL, and we could do a dash O YAML. So let's take a look at what we just created. We'll step through this. So we've got a route rule. We've given it a name and a namespace, and we're saying anybody hitting the product page service at default.service.cluster.local, precedence one in this rule. Um, we're gonna route it through to tags version one. So we're gonna route anything through to the V1 tag. So again, this is using all kind of Kubernetes concepts with tags, but very powerful control. Um, the refuse default, we're going to do exactly the same thing with reviews, um, ratings, um, and details. So fantastic. So we've just set everything, precedence one, to go to V1 tag of that application. Um, so basically what we should see right now is this, this is the book, um, is it called book info? Yeah, book info application. Yeah the book info sample app. So we're hitting the sample page and I'm just clicking refresh here. No changes, everything is hitting V1. Um, we could indeed put this curl in a loop and, and take a look at it. Um, that's just basic setup now. Now we're gonna do some interesting things here. Okay, so for the next piece, so I showed you the sample app and we looked at the product page there. What we're gonna do is do a create route rule review test V2, okay. So we've created that. Um, let's just pop over here. I actually have it here, route rule request v2. So what this is gonna say is um, reviews, precedence two, um, match a cookie. Anybody with the username Jason will go to v2. Okay, so again, I'm not logged in. Nothing's changed here and you'll see what actually changes when I route through to different backends. But if I go and sign in here as user JSON, I can actually see that I'm hitting the review service um, right now. So this is actually going through, you can see the stars here if I sign out. So I've been able to create a, essentially a test for a specific user to actually route them through and start rolling it out. So all this is getting to, if I wanna do a rolling update, I wanna test some new features, I can roll them out and do very specific routing to those and kind of step it out. So we can see that user JSON now has access to, as the rule says, to V2 of the reviews. So we can see that user JSON gets to see the reviews. So stars, we've got a five star and a four star, fantastic. Okay, but that's not all. So we've gone through, we've done the V2 with Jason. Um, so really I kind of went through it, but we're telling it to send anybody with a user cookie. So user equals Jason in that cookie to go to the V2 of the reviews, okay? So um, as it says in here, there's some really cool stuff in fault injection. I'm gonna cover that in another video. Um, but what we're gonna do is, there's actually a bug in V2, we're gonna bypass to V3, but we're gonna move 50% of the workload onto V3 first. Okay, so what this is gonna do is reviews default, we're gonna say precedence one, so weight 50, so 50% 50 of the traffic um, because of the weight, so we got 50-50 is gonna go to V1, the other 50 is gonna go to V3. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and create that. And I'm actually using a replace here, not a create, um, as you will notice. I'm using a replace because that a rule of that name already exists. We're just updating it in place. Okay, so that's that. Um, just auxiliary here. I think we might go and delete those existing two rules as well, just to get this ready. Yep. Okay. Okay, I don't have that last rule, that is fine. So now what we would expect is 50% of the time we're hitting V3, and V3 is the colored stars on the reviews. There we go, and we hit V1. So depending on how the routing's going through for my particular client IP, um, we're getting 50-50, and I don't think Jason will be routed through to anything specific anymore because I have indeed pulled that rule out. So you can see that we're getting balanced back and forward, 50-50 on a weight, um, so fantastic. I can see that now I've got V1 active and V3 active. Um, and now finally, just to round out this demo, pardon my flipping around here, when we're happy that this is stable, we can go and just route all of them to V3. So let's take a look at what that happened, what that looks like here. So we're gonna update this rule again, the reviews default and push everything to V3. So let's just grab that line here. So I would expect after running this command that all my requests go to the ones with the colored stars. And that is now the case. Okay, so as mentioned before, this is a really powerful platform. I can have per microservice requests with precedence and weights and tags all tied together. So this is a very rich experience for your request routing. And it gives you a really nice way to not only test and move things from kind of staging to prod or to test new features or feature flags, uh, but you have really granular control using the policy engine in the route rules there using Istio. So very excited to show, you, show everybody some more, um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if it was useful. Cheers.